So anyways, I was asking on one of my videos about the Ninja Creamy, and I was like, what am I missing out on? Because these things are like back ordered three weeks on Amazon. They have been for forever. And uh, I've watched lots of videos on them, and I wanted to just see, like, is this better than my normal ice cream maker? I mean, my KitchenAid attachment does really well, and I've had, like, the Cuisinart type in the past. And anyway, so I got a Ninja Creamy. I paid for it out of my own pocket. Nothing I ever demonstrate on YouTube was given to me. I pay for everything. I never ask for donations. I never ask for Patreon, that sort of thing. While we're actually talking about that, what would actually help me out though is YouTube has some kind of an algorithm that if you like a video, it kind of like moves your video up higher in the algorithm. So if you like this, go ahead and like the video. If you like the kind of content that I do about homesteading, self-sufficiency, and that sort of thing, uh, DIY stuff being very frugal go ahead and subscribe to my channel I can teach you how to turn 10 cents into a dollar any day of the week so one of the very first recipes that they talk about in the creamy book is uh, and I'm from Kentucky I don't know if that's like is it sorbet or is it more like French like sorbet or is it maybe like some other way whatever it is it's just a fruit that you freeze and uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it. Here's some pineapple chunks. You're supposed to use 16 ounces. This is 20. I'm going to dump it in there. There's a line here that says max fill line. You can't go above that line, so I might have to eat some pineapple tonight. But we're going to go ahead and get this started because I got a notification. It wasn't supposed to be delivered for like another week or 10 days, and I got a notification that it was going to be delivered tomorrow. So uh, surprise, surprise. So we'll fill this up and just see. How much it holds. I don't think it's going to hold all of it. Ah, oh, we're getting close though. That's probably if it settled. We are probably at the max fill line. I'm going to have to eat about six pineapples. And then you freeze this for 24 hours. You put the lid on tight and then freeze it for 24 hours, which we're going to do right now. So there's what it looks like. We're going to stick it in my freezer. Hopefully it's not too bad of a mess. And then tomorrow at around 930, I'm going to take this out and try this Ninja Creamy, assuming that it's actually on time like they say. So we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all, I couldn't stand it. I said I wasn't going to, and look, it just showed up today. It's been on back order for about, oh, I don't know, two or three weeks. Anyways, these are hard to find, and... I saw some videos of it, and then I looked up the price, and they're kind of expensive. They're about 200 bucks, and I said I wasn't going to get one because I've had numerous ice cream makers over the years, and I kind of went to doing the whole KitchenAid commercial and as many attachments for it as possible because, let's just face it, my house is getting kind of cluttered, and I was trying to consolidate functions into one machine, but then... After I said I wasn't going to get it, like it started eating me up inside. 
I kept thinking, what if this is the best ice cream ever? And see, that's kind of where the story changed because then I had to have it. Like, I got to see for myself. Why does this cost so much? We're going to unbox it and try it out because I already pre-froze something yesterday and we're going to see how it turns out. Y'all are also going to have to excuse the mess because it's bee season and I've been out dealing with beehives all day. There's stuff sitting everywhere. It's just been crazy the last week. If you know anything about raising bees, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's the middle of June right now. First thing we're going to do is get this unboxed. As soon as I find a knife, like how come I didn't already have a knife or something? Uh, basically, the mailman left this literally right next to my mailbox. They used to bring stuff up to the porch. I don't guess they do it anymore. But it's not even in a, uh, just a brown box. It actually says creamy, and this is how it was delivered. So, that's kind of worrisome. Like, if they're not bringing stuff to your porch anymore, and they just leave this along the side of the road where anybody can see that there's a $200 creamy device sitting in a box, that might be bad. I know that, like, the mail is just getting hammered with, like, Amazon deliveries. That obviously started during the pandemic, but it's probably not gotten any better because they're at my house almost every day delivering something. It's almost crazy how much stuff I order. So here we go, I already pulled out the destruction manual. Like whoever reads those. So I also bought an additional four of the uh, cups and I've already got them set outside or already washed them and run them through the dishwasher and all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and get this out though. This device is amazingly kind of heavy. I was kind of surprised when I went to pick the box up. I was like, well, this probably isn't made out of just like cheap plastic and a couple metal parts to be that heavy. Uh, I'll tell you about what it weighs here in a minute after I get this plastic off of here. I'm just gonna estimate, I ain't gonna actually weigh it. But if I was to guess based on my like weightlifting experience, this weighs about 10 pounds. I'm kind of guessing. So it does have a nice uh, wire keeper built into it. That's a pretty nice feature. I guess if you are tight on like a cabinet or a countertop space like I am, this is the uh, paddle installation. We are basically going to set this up and make ice cream right away. Like I literally can't stand it. <laughs> what if it's the best ice cream maker ever? And then I'll be like, oh man, I finally have the best ice cream maker ever. And if it's just so-so or it sucks, I'm going to be like, man, what a wasted 200 bucks. Press and hold the latch on top of the lid to install and remove the paddle. When fully installed, the latch will be centered and the paddle will be slightly loose. All right, so... Not sure what peel here. Oh, I see what they're saying. I'll show you here in a minute. There is a paddle latch. See it right there? So you have to push that. Put that in there like that. I think that's probably about right. It feels about right. There's the paddle install. That was pretty easy. Here is the cup. I've already got one in the freezer. And the lid, we'll just set them aside. Take this off.
packaged pretty well. Be right back. You're going to have to excuse the mess that's on the back counters. Like I said, I am a working homestead by myself. Sometimes I get behind on things. I just plugged it in. Let's see. There's a nice little ninja sticker there, or a little cover to cover up the label. Let's see. This must be power. It says install. I bet install means that we got to install this. So let me show you what I've got. I mentioned this last night while I was making this. So we're going to include the recipe on how to make this in this video too. This is pineapple, just pineapples and pineapple juice. And I said in the video, I do not know if it's called sorbet or sorbet. So I Googled it when I, after I did the video and guess what? The dictionary says you can use either or. So how confusing is that? So this will be pineapple sorbet. It's just a fruit that we're about to uh, stick in here and let it do its thing. So I'm taking the lid off. That's kind of what it looks like. Pretty solid frozen. Then that goes in the lid or goes in the other secondary cup there and you kind of like when you set it in there, you kind of got to move it around until it like locks in place. Then the lid goes on. And it says lock is this way. So now that's in there. And then I assume that this goes this way. And it says to turn it that way. Oh, yeah. Now, we have a button that says sorbet, sorbet, right here, we've got ice cream, sorbet, light ice cream, smoothie bowl, gelato, milkshake, and mix in, power, and respin. So let's just go ahead and do it. Here we go. That thing is pretty loud. Matter of fact, I can compare it to, it is louder than my table saw. Kind of see where it's going down right here. You see at the top it's like a lighter collar and the line's more going down.
Well, that was kind of neat. Now, how do you unlock this thing? Ah, there's a button here on the side. See where my thumb's at? I bet if you push that, exactly right. So then this pops out, and then this opens up. Well, it doesn't look too bad, actually. Let me uh, get a spoon here that I grabbed. Hmm. It tastes just like you would think it would taste. It's like eating a frozen pineapple that's the consistency of ice cream. So, that's a... Uh, Go ahead and put this back on here since we're done with it. Wow. So it makes a one pint. You can see there's a max fill line. I kind of explained that when I put the uh, pineapple in there. It held a 20 ounce, all but about six little pineapples out of a 20 ounce that was like crushed pineapple. So there was like six little tiny pieces I had to eat out of the can, but 20 ounces, even though it's only a pint, it held 20 ounces. Hmm. This is actually pretty good. I am pleasantly surprised. I can't say that it's the best, because this is just a sorbet, sorbet. We'll give this a try with our monthly ice cream, though, that I'm doing. So, uh, anyways. I would say overall my first impressions were that it seems like it's got good build quality. It seems like it works pretty well. And uh, time will tell if I think it's the best ice cream maker in the world or not because I've had several. Right now my KitchenAid does a great job. I'll leave a link both to the KitchenAid, I'll leave a link to the KitchenAid attachment that makes ice cream. I'll leave a link to the Ninja. There's actually a couple of different models and I'll link to several of them. And then I'll also link to the Cuisinart, which I just recently bought for my mother and I used to own one of those and they do an excellent job. But again, like I said, the only reason why I don't still have the Cuisinart is because I was consolidating my stuff down into just one thing, which is a KitchenAid commercial mixer. So overall, though, my first initial impressions are very good on this. And uh, once I make some ice cream in it, we'll see how well it does. As always, thanks for watching. If you like this kind of content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. I do a monthly ice cream, homemade ice cream video. I do all kinds of stuff for homesteading, self-sufficiency, uh, being frugal, and that sort of thing. So if you like that kind of content, gardening, landscaping, woodworking, you name it. I'm a jack of all trades. But uh, if you like that kind of content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload new content, which is generally about two days a week. Sometimes it's seven days a week. You just never know about me. Over 600 videos. I'm sure there is something here of interest to you. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.